Building a Portable Digital QRP Rig, next on Broken Signal. I was recently inspired the other day while reading OH8STN, Julian's blog, and watching his YouTube videos on Winter Field Day and Portable Digital QRP, and decided to put together a portable rig of my own. The goals were to put a rig together that will allow me to pass digital messages on multiple handbands, receive weather reports from NOAA stations, and to listen to news reports on AM radio, all from an off-grid portable rig. I put links to the hardware used in the description below. For the transceiver, I am using the Ubitex All-Band HF Amateur Radio Transceiver. The Ubitex puts out 5 to 10 watts and runs on 12 volts. This has been a very reliable radio that can easily be repaired and modified, and works great for digital QRP. A Raspberry Pi 3B is used for the computer. A Pi 4 would be a better choice and I would have used one if they were not a victim of the recent shortages. The 3B does work well and I have only seen it struggle to decode messages a few times over a couple of months of use. The Raspberry is fed 5 volts from a buck converter allowing me to power everything from a 12 volt source. With digital messaging, having correct time is vital to success, so the Raspberry Pi keeps its time up to date using GPS. For this, I use a VK172 GPS USB dongle. It is also backed up with a DS3231 real-time clock module for those times a GPS signal cannot be established. To interface the audio between the Ubitex and the Pi, a Sabrent USB audio dongle is used. The nice thing about using the Sabrent is drivers are already installed, making it a true plug-and-play device. I did modify it by opening the case and removing the middle connector on the 1 8 inch plugs. The Ubitex also uses the ring for PTT. Since PTT is controlled via USB, removing the connector ensures I do not accidentally transmit with the Ubitex. Finally, to receive stations outside of the Ubitex capability, I use an RTL SDR dongle. The dongle is small and lightweight, and if you watch my previous videos, there is a lot I could do with it, so it makes it a great addition to this project. The Raspberry Pi runs headless, and I can connect to it with any device using VNC. A tablet or smartphone can be used in the field for control. I will be covering the software and configuration over the next couple videos. So make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Thanks for watching.